up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, hanging out here at my new project, Marty Music. Thank you so much for subscribing to this new YouTube channel of mine. You can also go to martymusic.com and check out what I have there. Really appreciate your support. Got a great song right now, Skid Row, I Remember You, and I remember this video. I remember what, you know, watching this on MTV, and I also remember seeing Skid Row open for Guns N' Roses when I was like 17 years old, so mind blown. Uh, Skid Row was really good at the synchronized long hair swirling. That's, that's what I remember most about their concert. Anyway, let's zoom in and break this classic down right now. Here we go. All right, we're gonna start with the G chord. And that's gonna be the G chord with the ring finger on the third of the B, pinky on the third of the high E there. Then we're gonna go to the classic C add nine which are these two fingers scooted back a string. So third on the A, second on the D, and that's the verse. So now we gotta add some little tricky tricks. So rhythmically, this is just kind of a starting rhythm for you. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, Next, we're gonna go like this. So what I'm doing is I'm hammering on the second fret of the A string and then the open D string while I'm holding that G chord. And once you do the, you're still kind of getting that strum, so you're gonna get the G and the B and the high E in there. that and so when you go to that C at nine hmm, I wonder where they got it uh, <laughs> So what I'm doing now is I'm doing a hammer-on pull-off on the third of the B. And then the open G. But you're still kind of strumming, so if you get the D in there as well. So here you put that together, once again. Okay. So once you've got that strumming going, the next section is a D chord to the C add nine. So right back into the verse. Until you go get to it again. D to C add 
nine, but then again, D D D D C at nine G D E minor, and then you could play a C or a C add nine. If we just stick to the C add nine, we're perfectly fine. But you could, you know, sometimes when you're rocking out, the straight up C chord rocks a little harder especially if you're playing electric guitar. But anyway, we've got G to D, E minor, and then C, I'm gonna play C add nine. <laughs> okay, so here's what we got. We got the main part. We've got the, what we'll call the next part, the, the pre-chorus. D to C add nine. And then we have what's called the chorus, which is what we just learned. And then there's a bridge that happens in the song, and that's A minor. So the first time we've seen A minor in this lesson, A minor to E minor, then A minor again, the D that we made, I, 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 solo. So the solo is just over G back to C, and then finally the pre-chorus, you know, just goes through the form of the verse and the pre-chorus, and then you've got uh, the final verse, you know, breaks down again, comes back in with all these same parts that we've already learned. So uh, the bridge will quick. I'm sorry, the bridge will the bridge real quick. A minor. E minor price we paid, and then a minor again, and the D that we made. Yeah, 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 yeah. Solos over this. That was it, Skid Row. I remember you, and I want to thank you for subscribing to Marty Music right here. And if you've got a request that you'd like to leave for me, you can go ahead, like this video, leave it in the comments below. Really appreciate your support, and I'll see you in a video real soon. See you later.